Tell your feelings how to feel. <laughs> and what do you think the last one would be? Tell your body how to react. And see, this is spiritual self-mastery. See, I'm a rabbi of affirmations. I love affirmations, especially on money. Money is wonderful stuff. Say that to yourself. I see and feel myself having and enjoying more money. Say that to yourself. Now, I must stop because I have to talk about the word feel. Like, do this with your hands. Like, feel. Do that with your hands. Say, feel. See how you take it from in and you're expanding it? Feel. Now I know the word of faith, people say feelings don't mean anything. And that um serves something to that though. But the hook on that, right, bring that hook back, is that you'll always have feelings, but you have to take control of those feelings. You don't follow those feelings. You learn how to make those feelings follow you. Yes, that's the right perspective there. I'm not moved by what I see. I'm not moved by what I feel. I'm moved by what I feel. Absolutely correct. But if you continue to make those affirmations, then your thoughts and your feelings will begin to follow you. See. I have a three, that's why they call me third. I have a three way that goes to tell my mind where to think. Tell your feelings how to feel. <laughs> and what do you think the last one would be? Tell your body how to react. And see, this is spiritual self mastery. You have to be a master of your thoughts master how of your thoughts by letting that same mind right that is Christ Jesus be in you you are to master your feelings by telling your feelings how to feel and if you deal with your thoughts your thoughts will impress your feelings now that's a lot in my just heretical brand of the passion of mind science <laughs> I have observed that feelings is your thought subjectified on the deepest the deepest deepest level feeling is the deepest 
level of thought. See, after, like, when I get up here, and or even anybody, and, and people, you know, they quote the scripture. That's wonderful. We do the affirmation. That's wonderful. Why do we do that, baby? We tell our minds what to think so that we may impress those thoughts, these thoughts of truth, like, necessarily upon our subconscious. And when we oppress these thoughts of truth, of the word of God, upon our deepest feeling of nature, when your thoughts reach their deepest level and what the Bible calls the heart, right? And the Lord calls the subconscious and resides there as feeling. Think about what I'm saying to you. Like, the other day, right? Like, I was with family, you know, I'm in a situation right now. People, you know, they hit me up from all across the world, being in my situation. And people are asking me, you know, how are things? And the Spirit gave me an affirmation. It doesn't matter how things are. It only matters how I am. It doesn't matter how that situation is. It only matters how I am. It only matters how you are. Remember that. It will keep you in good standings. So don't even bother to ever ask me how are things. Things, things, things are in the field of, in the field of strength response. <laughs> Thought, right, is in the field of cause. Only I am is God. Things are not God. Whether they go to hell or not. It doesn't matter that the cow jumps over the moon and that the dog runs away with the spoon. It doesn't. Or is it the dish or is it that runs away with it? I forget how it goes. It just doesn't matter. I forget how it goes, but it, it don't matter. <laughs> it only matters how I am. How I Ooh, doesn't that set you free? Doesn't that set you free? I said. Hmm. It only matters how I am. Hmm. Remember that. It will stand you well. It will serve you well. It will keep you well. It will keep your mind off of things. That's what we really do. Let's keep our minds off of things. Keep dug for the spirit. You know what I'm saying? This dug passion got me gurn. Wham!